Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. Today we are going to learn another interesting specifications from Bureau of Indian Standards, Specifications and Analytical Methods for Skin Creams. In my last video we discussed about the shampoos. Now we are going to discuss about specific requirements and analytical methodologies adopted and certified by Indian Standards for Skin Creams. Now the Bureau of Indian Standards statutory is statutory institution established under the WIS Act 1986 to promote harmonious development of the activities of standardization, marking and quality certifications of goods and attending to connected matter in the country. So these are the standard guidelines which keeps on changing time to time and they are little bit uh, they little bit have a complicated language so I have tried to simplify it so that you can understand what are the specific requirements as per skin creams. So this slide basically represents the, uh, the revision history of the different guidelines. Now I want to specifically mention about the uh, Indian standard 4707 which contains the classification of cosmetics raw material and adjuncts. It is divided into two parts, part 1 and part 2, which is applicable to all the cosmetics. Part 1 specifically includes the dyes, colors and the pigment part. And part 2 basically contains the list of the raw material generally not recognized as safe for use in the cosmetics. So again, they are very important. Uh, similarly, another Indian standard guideline number 14648, which uh, actually implies for the methodologies for testing for microbiological examination of cosmetics. Now when we talk about the skin creams, the desired description for the skin creams that it should be in the form of a thick emulsion and with a pleasant smell. It should contain all the raw material and ingredients which should conform to the requirements prescribed by the relevant Indian standards where such standards exist. Now as I mentioned earlier, the dyes colors which are used in the manufacturing of the skin creams should comply with the Indian standard 4707 part 1 which is subject to the provision of Schedule Q of Drugs and Cosmetic Acts. In my previous lecture also I told that all the cosmetics are governed by the two regulations. First is the Drug and Cosmetic Acts 1940 and the Rules 1945 and second the labeling instructions are decided by the uh, Bureau of Indian Standard Guidelines. So this is the standard which is responsible that how your product should be labeled, whether uh, you want to have the eco mark guidelines, what are the requirements uh, what are the documentations required for achieving the ECOMA guidelines. So like uh, you want to label your product for the labeling of skin creams all the documentation and the testing required is mentioned in this standard document for the skin creams. The material shall also comply with all the requirements which is specified in the table 1 which we shall discuss later on and uh, it should comply with all the specifications, all the testing methodologies, all the analytical methods for that particular specific plant and it should qualify each and every test. So this is the table 1 which is which shows clearly what are the requirements for the skin creams. Seven tests have been identified which are very critical which needs to be performed on the skin creams. The first is the thermal stability. Now as the term indicates stability you, wa you want to ensure that the product remains stable for the shelf life period. So it should pass the test and the detailed test is mentioned in the lecture A. This is with reference to the Indian standard guidelines 6608-2004. Now next second test is the pH. All the screen cream should lie within the pH range of 4 to 9. Now one exception is there for creams which are based on beeswax and the borax, the limit has to be between 5 to 10. Next third test is the content of the total fatty substance which is present in the skin creams. It should not exceed 5. Next test is the total residue test which needs to be performed on all the skin creams and the value should not exceed these are the minimum requirements which needs to be for the value should be, uh, not be more than 10 it should be the minimum value can be 10 it should it can be more than 10 but it should not have the value less than 10 now the content of heavy metals the heavy metal content max is maximum allowed 20 it should not exceed 20 figure when we talk about the lead concentration when we talk about the arsenic concentration it should not exceed the value 2 so this is the maximum limit which has been specified. Similarly, for the microbial content, when we talk about the total viable content, it should not be more than 1000. 
similarly the presence of gram negative pathogens in any cream should not exceed uh, and it should always be less than 10 so this is the main table which tells you that these seven tests are mandatory for the skin creams with their requirements with their assessment methods with their testing methods you have to always try to understand the implications of these tests what is the outline of these methods so that you can understand the labeling criteria of the skin creams now then, uh, this was about the general labeling uh, and testing requirements for the skin creams now there is an additional requirement if any manufacturer want that is the eco mark requirement if you want to have the eco mark for your product skin creams as well as the packaging part you need to provide the additional documentation now what is this additional document this mark basically is required for ensuring the higher safety quality and performance attributes for the product it simply states that your product is up to the required reputation up to it is being manufactured as per the desired specification so if you have any product which is carrying the eco mark it gives it a added advantage it is of higher superior quality it has more safety concerns by being manufactured so all the ingredients that goes into the formulation of cosmetic shall comply with the provisions of indian standard 4707 part 1 as well as 4707 part 2 Part 1 was for the dyes and all the coloring agents. Part 2 was the, for the list of the substance which should not be uh, the part of the cosmetics. The product should also meet specific requirements as given in the standards. The product package shall display a list of ingredients in descending orders. In my previous video for the specification of shamp shampoos, the, it, going for the eco mark, the condition remains same for all the type of the product. Whether you are acquiring eco mark for the shampoos or skin creams or toothpaste you have to carry out the same sort of the documentation for any type of the cosmetic if you want to go ahead for the eco mark and the production shall not contain any substance which can have the carcinogenic potential now apart from that let us discuss the documentation part the this simply need environmental consent clearance from the concerned state pollution board this is as per the act and while applying for the eco mark now, uh, other requirements which are relevant for the skin creams are that it should be dermatologically safe. It should contain the heavy metals within the desired specification. If it is exceeding, the product would be discarded. It should, it, it should will not be considered safe. So, heavy limit specifications have been set up for lead. It should not exceed 20 ppm and for arsenic, it should not exceed 2 ppm as per the respective Indian standard methods. Now, when we talk about the packing and the market markings, the packing material shall be packed in a suitable, well-closed containers. The marking shall contain the desired information. As I've told in my previous video also uh, about the shampoos, it has to be in the sequence, like name of the material will come first, then manufacturer names, net material, net quantity, month and year of manufacturing of the packaging, batch or lot numbers, in code or otherwise expiry date or best before use list of key ingredients or any other specific requirements by the statutory authorities so this was about the packing part now sampling for the cosmetics uh, skin creams is very important this is actually represents a sample of the material the sample has to be in the composite forms it should follow the guidelines it should uh, the sample shall be taken to have conformed to the standards if the composite samples passes all the tests so again it is very important that the sampling is done very properly so that we we be ensured that the quality attributes are within the complete product next the quality of the reagent while testing for these skin creams uh, unless in other words specified pure chemicals have to be used along with the distilled water which shall be employed in the test so the while carrying out the analytical methodology it is being ensured that all the pure chemicals have been used and the distilled water as per the indian standard 1070 guidelines so this is the, uh, the standard documents uh, which contains number of annexures. Now these annexures in detail provides the testing methodology the, along with the specification, how the test has to be carried out, what is the, uh, the, the test method in detail protocol which needs to be followed and they have also simultaneously given the specification which is being represented in the table 1. So when we talk about the skin cream specifically, the annexure A refers for the test for thermal 
stability now for testing this thermal stability the product skin cream sample have to be kept at 45 degree celsius with 60 to 70% humidity and the sample shall be taken to have passed the test if on removal from the incubator it shows no oil separation or any other phase separation so this is the most important attribute which is being desired in skin creams if your skin is if the cream is stable it would show no oil separation the second annexure is about the determination of ph it has to be co complied within the ph range of 4 to 9 now if there was an exception if your skin cream contains borax or beeswax then the range is 5 to 10 so with the adequate to ph meter you need to test the ph of the skin cream and it should lie within this range 4 to 9 Actually, C is about the determination of total fatty substance content. So, uh, the principle of this method is that the emulsion is broken with the dilute mineral acid, and the fatty matter is extracted with petroleum ether. It is weighed after removal of the solvent. So, uh, with this principle, there is a detailed methodology which needs to be referred for conducting the test. As of now, you can understand at least these minimum seven tests which needs to be carried out as per the Bureau of Indian Standards for the testing of skin creams. so uh, the the annexure c specifically talks about the determination of the content of total fatty acid substance now annexure d annexure d basically talks about the determination of total residues so accordingly methodologies have been established as per the principle it says simply that you take about the 5 grams of the material in a wet clean dry from weighing bottle and dry to a constant mass At 105 degrees Celsius, and cool it in a desiccator to weigh it till you get the determination of residue. So there is a method which is being described. There is the calculation factor being described. For details, please refer the uh, Indian Standard Guideline, which I have this, uh, which I have explained. Try to explain to you so that you can understand these seven tests along with the specification and the detailed uh, analytical method. And actually, he talks about the testing of the heavy metals. Now, heavy metal contamination is a common problem being observed in the cosmetics. So, government also wants to try to ensure that the product is safe. And for that, they have set up the minimum uh, uh, minimum requirement. That is, for the lead, it should not exceed 20 ppm. And for uh, arsenic, it should not exceed 2 ppm. So, if your product uh, contains heavy metal contamination, it won't be allowed. It will the batch will be discarded. Now, annexure F. It talks about the determination of arsenic. So, as I have told earlier, the heavy metal contamination uh, have to be calculated with the content analysis of lead, with the content analysis of arsenic, and total heavy metal contamination. Thank you all for watching my video. I hope I am clear with all the uh, testing specification and analytical methodies methodologies as prescribed by the Bureau of Indian Standards for the testing of uh, skin creams. Please try to understand the seven tests along with their specifications. Thanks for watching my video. Please do like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please also provide your comment in the comment box. Thank you so much.